The following announcement has been paid for by the ENN Podcast. He has a, he has a good energy. Yeah. Can you believe it? Can you feel it? Can you feel that excitement? The, the merchandise, wearing the hats. Chris Wilde here live from Lincoln Finance. And I'm telling you, if you let Eli Manning walk into that stadium and make you look stupid and get a giant W. Music. Wow. Whoa. And more. what's his next book going to be called? Spineless? Like. everybody to another episode of the ENN Podcast. I'm the good brother of Broad Street, the reigning big league fantasy football champion and professional wrestler Chris Wilde, live from bar 4133 for another video. As you know, we've been in the reaction room a lot with live streams and NFL draft prospect reactions. It's good to be back here in the bars. We are just almost a week away from the NFL 2021 draft and what could be the biggest draft in Philadelphia Eagles history, at least for the Howie Roseman era as they as we stand right now have 11 picks going into the draft and some big decisions to make as far as round one is concerned now we know weeks ago Howie Roseman traded the, the number six pick in the draft to the Miami Dolphins for a one next year um, and now they're at 12 obviously and uh for all intents and purposes, it looks like that's where they're going to stay. However, a report came out last week that the Eagles were considering moving back into the top 10. Now, at first glance, at first thought, I'm thinking it's absolutely ridiculous. Why? Why would they do that? They were already in the top 10. Why now tr uh, stress us all out by trying to get back, back in? Um, but when you look and you dig a little bit deeper, get past that first reaction, it does make a lot of sense. If they have their heart set on a guy, let's say Jamar Chase falls, let's say Kyle Pitts falls, or maybe they really want Jalen Waddell and they're afraid that the New York Giants, who are now, their reports that they're going to get a wide receiver in this first round, which nobody saw coming and the Eagles didn't either, um, they know that they have to try to jump over them. Maybe they do try to get back into that top 10. And look, they're not going to have to give up a first round pick to do it, already being at 12 you're looking at a third or a second maybe packaging a guy like Zach Ertz and then you get your guy now if you do this and you jump back into the top 10 it's definitely got to be for an offensive player I believe if not maybe maybe Patrick Sertan as I definitely doubt he's going to be there when the Eagles pick at 12 and he looks like the best corner in this draft now when I talk about corner and wide receiver we talked about this in the live st live stream Sunday night um, look I'm in the belief that Eagles need offense they need wide receiver here yes they desperately need defense they desperately need corner um, the Eagles have a, they have absolutely nothing at that wide receiver Jalen Rager who knows what he's going to be I don't have to talk about the rest of the guys because we have beaten that to death for 12 months straight almost um, they need a guy that defenses have to game plan for. You need that X factor, that guy that's going to really make this offense go. And I believe if you get a guy like Jalen Waddle, Devonta Smith, Jamar Chase, Kyle Pitts, those are guys and building blocks that can do that. It gives a guy like uh, Jalen Hurts more of a chance to be successful. And if it's not going to be Hurts in the future, whoever the next guy is, that building block is already there. Now, in the draft, there are, t there are a bunch of great cornerbacks. I believe more great cornerbacks than great wide receivers. However, again, guys, look, if they get a Patrick Sertan or a J.C. Horn, I would be absolutely ecstatic, okay? I would be absolutely ecstatic. It would be no, uh, I'm not capping right now. That I, I will be absolutely happy with that, even though I believe the Eagles need to go wide receiver. Now, today I read another report, and again, you're going to hear a bunch of this. You're just going to hear a bunch of crap um, for, for the, until the draft starts. And look, the one thing that all the draft experts, uh, a guy like me or uh, any guy off the street have in common is, no, we don't know. Nobody knows. It's always different. But uh, there may be the top two or three picks, um, you know, or what are projected to go. But after that, who knows? Nobody knows. There's, it's, it's always different than it's supposed to be. Um, but there's saying uh, that the Eagles might actually drop back down. 
that would be absolutely the worst thing. I mean, I understand they'll probably get more picks um, for the future. But again, you need a Howie-proof pick here. They had it at 6. They dropped back down to 12. I still believe 12 is Howie-proof. You move back into the top 10, that's even more Howie-proof. But as you go down, you, you make it easier for Howie to F this up, right? Just like he did with the Jalen Reger and Justin Jefferson thing that, again, we've absolutely – beat to death okay just like he does in the second round it seems like every year we need to get it, it is impair it is absolutely uh it cannot get if you get a guy that is not a day one starter a, a, an absolute centerpiece of your defense or your offense in round one this year it's an absolute failure guys it just is and again this is just my opinion um and you can all leave your opinions i'm sure you will in the comments but what do you think the eagles should do should they try to move back up into the top 10 should they go down or should they just stay with where they are it's going to definitely be hard to stay where you are when you got two division rivals ahead of you that was my problem with the trade to begin with um we'll see what howie and really let's jeffrey Lurie want to do there um we'll keep tabs on it Again, just almost a week away from this draft. I'm absolutely excited for it as we are going to be live streaming here on ENN. As last year's live stream was probably one of the worst live streams you'll ever watch. It was my first one. Um, and, yes, it was horrible right in, the, right in the middle of the pandemic. This year, definitely aiming for better. And the Eagles need to aim for better, too, in the draft as well, guys. Hey, I hope everybody's staying safe, is staying healthy. Go, Birds! And I'll see you later. Great. And I'm just talking about bullshit right now.